The U.S. and its allies will likely not stop sending military equipment to Ukraine, despite the attack on the Ukrainian base. The Pentagon has repeatedly said it has several ways in, and officials insist assistance continues to make its way in regularly. On American television, in an interview with Face the Nation, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuliba asked the West and its allies to arm Ukraine. Um, what we are asking is a very simple thing. We say, arm Ukraine and we will do the rest. Uh, give us all the weapons necessary and we will fight for our own land and for our people. Kuliba specified that getting more fighter jets is the most pressing issue in Ukraine's efforts to defend against Russia. The highest demand is in, in, in place, in fighting, fighting jets, in attack uh, aircrafts, because uh, unfortunately the air force uh, power of Russia and Ukraine are uncomparable. Another big concern for U.S. officials is fears that Russia could use chemical weapons. However, Pentagon spokesman made an important point on Sunday. A country that has a, a, uh, a reputation for using those kinds of weapons uh, on people, uh, and we know they have a program. Uh, and two, we continue to uh, watch for the potential, and I, and I want to stress the word potential, potential that they... Uh, could be banging this drum with the intent of creating some sort of uh, false flag event that they could use it as an excuse uh, to escalate the conflict. The U.S. has sent Ukraine more than $1.2 billion in security assistance since January 2021. And on Saturday, President Biden authorized an additional $200 million in small arms and equipment for Ukraine. In addition to the latest round of military assistance, Congress on Thursday sent to Biden for his signature a $1.5 trillion government spending package that includes $13.6 billion in assistance to Ukraine.